There comes the tiger. This is the story of a little boy named Krishna. He lived with his father in a small village. Krishna and his father were both shepherds. They earned their living by grazing cows. But Krishna was a very mischievous boy. Every day was a new day with his new little mischief. What do I do today? Why can't I see anyone here? Who do I play a prank on? I can't let today just pass by. Oh, I'm so bored. Come on, think of something. Just then, Krishna's father came to see him. What happened, Krishna? Why are you standing here? Oh, nothing, father. I was just wondering what work do I do now? Okay, do one thing. I don't feel very good today. Why don't you take the cows to graze on the lawn near the jungle? Sure, father. I will take them today. And listen, you have to watch over them closely. Otherwise, the tiger will eat all of them. I will watch over them, father. Don't you worry. I must leave now. It's almost time to graze the cows. Although Krishna was very mischievous, he never said no to his father for anything. As per his father's instructions, Krishna untied the cows and took them out to graze near the jungle. He had a wooden sling in one hand and a long stick in another. Soon, Krishna, with all his cows, reached the lawn near the jungle. He saw a big tree right at the center. Krishna carefully climbed up and sat on the tree. He began to use his wooden sling to pelt stones onto the ground. But soon, he got bored. Suddenly, he thought of a trick. He thought of having a little fun and he began to scream. Help! Help! Here comes the tiger! 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 Help! Somebody help me! Tiger! He will eat all my cows! Somebody help me! He is right here! Help! As soon as the villagers heard his cry, they were shocked and scared. Oh no! Krishna is in danger! The tiger will kill him! We must go there at once! Yes, let's do it! Go quickly! Let's go! Let's go! Everybody ran towards the jungle. They picked up anything they could use as a weapon to attack the tiger. The busy villagers left all their work and ran to save Krishna. As they reached... Krishna, where is the tiger? Are you hurt? Don't worry, Krishna. We are here now. Don't get off the tree. Tell us where the tiger is. Yes, where is the tiger? Where is he? Tell us. <laughs> tiger? What tiger? There's no tiger here. <laughs> and why were you screaming? Was this a prank? Krishna, what mischief is this? Don't ever do that again, Krishna. You must not play such pranks. You will get in trouble someday. We left all our work to come save you. That's enough, Krishna. Your pranks are creating trouble for us now. This has to stop. We will never come to your rescue. <laughs> Don't be so mad. All right. I will never do this again. Krishna couldn't stop laughing. All the villagers returned angrily to their work. But Krishna was very pleased with himself. <laughs> this made my day! Poor villagers, they all look so scared! <laughs> the day passed and Krishna returned home with all his cows. The next day, he went to graze his cows again. And today, too, he decided to play the same trick. Help! Help! There comes the tiger! He will eat all my cows! Somebody 
Help me! Once again, the villagers heard Krishna's cry from the jungle. Those who didn't know about the prank got worried. And they all ran towards the jungle to help Krishna. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Krishna is in danger. Let's go and help him. Oh, yes. Poor child. How he will face the tiger alone. We must go there right now. Oh, yes, let's go. I hope he's all right. Once again, falling for his innocence, the villagers ran to Krishna's rescue. As they reached the jungle, they saw that Krishna was safely sitting on the tree and laughing. <laughs> Look at your faces! What happened to you? There is no tiger here! Why were you screaming? There is no tiger here! <laughs> what is wrong with you? You have to stop this! When will you grow up? This is not right, Krishna! You may not have to work, but we do! Why do you keep troubling everyone, Krishna? This is not unfair! You will have to pay for your mischief someday! We will come running for you, and this is how you pay us back! We will never come to your rescue again! Let's go! Yes, we will never come for him again! Why are you all going back? What will I tell the tiger now? <laughs> the villagers saw Krishna laughing. They were now very angry. They all screamed at Krishna and stormed out. This was now a routine for Krishna. He would come to the lawn and cry for help. The villagers understood his trick very well now. And yet, they ran for his help every day. But one day, Krishna's luck did not work as he took his cows to graze. There came a tiger. Not one, but many. Krishna cried for help. Help! Help, tiger, tiger, help me! Somebody please help me! But this time, nobody came to his rescue. Nobody listened to his cries. Krishna sat there and kept calling for help. Please believe me! There are many tigers here! Uncle, help me! Auntie, save me! The tigers are attacking my cows! Somebody please help me! Please help me, please! Uncle, help me! This is routine for him now. His cries are always foul. We will not waste our time anymore. You are right. We will not go there. I agree. He's playing mischief again. Nobody will go there. I agree too. Let's go back to work. Krishna kept screaming for help, but nobody heard his cries. The tigers attacked all the cows one by one and ate them all. Krishna sat there helpless and cried and cried. He had lost all his cows. Soon, the news reached Krishna's father. He got worried and ran towards the jungle. What have you done, Krishna? These cows were the only way for us to earn. And now they are gone. How will we earn now? What will we eat? I always overlooked your mischief. But this is too much. What do I do with you now? Please forgive me, Father. I made a very big mistake. I am so sorry. I will never trouble others. I will never lie. I am so sorry. And this is how Krishna paid for his mischief. Yes? Yes? So tell me, what did we learn today? That we must never lie. <laughs> Each time we lie, we lose. Correct. Each time we lie, we lose someone's trust. They will believe our lies once, but not always. 
and when we really need someone, we are all alone. That's why we must always be truthful.